Hi, thanks for joining me. It's Michelle Sturge with Come Stamp With Me, and this is my small studio space. So this is normally where I sit when I do my videos. You can see my uh, phone stand right there pointing at the chair that I sit at and the paper behind me. So that is my creating space, and that is my computer space, and my giant light for whenever I film my videos. Um, this here is my uh, Big Shot station. Um, so I've got my three machines there. I've got my scan and cut. The drawers hold the different um, plates and extra things for my Big Shots. And then I've got my small uh, to, uh, Stampin' Up Thinlets and embossing folders in that little container. Um, this ink pad storage actually stores Lawn Fawn inks and Lawn Fawn reinkers, and then also a Memento Black. I've got several, I've got I think four or five of those, and some Versamark, some, uh, Versamark ink. Um, that's there. Cupboards are full. So up at the top is extra paper to go in my paper racks, and then Copic refills in their paperwork. And then these containers hold uh, Biggs dies. Um, and yes, I still have my Stampin' Up! Biggs dies, mostly alphabets that I use for scrapbooking, and I have a lot of Tim Holtz ones as well. Um, so then while I'm sitting in this desk, these drawers hold different things, but the two top drawers, so this is all my adhesives and dimensionals and um, blades for my trimmer. And then on the other side of my chair is my tools, so scissors, um, glues and uh, all that kind of stuff. All right. Next top cupboard. This is envelope storage, punches, um, various different Tim Holtz mediums, but mostly mostly my punches. And then in those little doors, uh, those little drawers are um, embossing powders and washi tapes and that sort of thing and then this is mostly just storage so um different machines my selfie printer paper pumpkins and this is a basket full of retired things that i use as prizes when i have um events all right and then turning around that is the door into my house and we will start with this billy bookcase so, uh, retired stamps, um, retired stamps and cards I need to send out, and iris cases for my scrapbooking. Um, and one, one iris case is just uh, cardstock, and then the rest, one is just thickers, one is just embellishments, and then the rest of the iris cases are done by theme. Up at the top of this Blake bookcase are cards to sell and then my Stampin' Up! stamps. So uh, all of my retires that I still use are to the left of the shelf and over to the right up at the top here are all my brand new stuff. So anytime I get brand new they're always at the top and then they just get moved down. Various stamp companies in there, including Sunny St Studio Stamps, my Alt News and MFT stencils and whatnot are in this one. And this is mostly um, my favorite things, but there are some Avery L in there as well. Um, that bucket right there holds uh, all of my Tim Holtz embellishments. Then I've got blending brushes, my blocks. These are all Christmas stamps. These are all um, Lavinia, and they're all done in their little pockets. Six by six paper, extra white cardstock, um, more iris cases, and then in this one, the iris case holds retired Stampin' Up! paper, and then my new Stampin' Up! 12 by 12 paper is on top, easy for me to get to. This rolly cart holds my Copics and all of my Tim Holtz type uh, sprays and glazes and embellishments. Um, so like in this one, I took all of those awesome little numbers and letters, those chipboard things, and I put them all in one case. And this case holds all the different paper dolls from Tim Holtz. And this one holds all kinds of different fasteners from Tim Holtz. Um, we'll go to the next bookcase now. 
at the top. Uh, generally, that's where I put my catalogs. Those catalogs are old. My sewing machine and my lovely shelf of ink. So this is all Stampin' Up! ink and reinker and blends and markers. And then these tins here, um, these Tim Holtz tins hold my Altenew inks. Then the next one is uh, up to the side are my Versafine Claire. So the Versafine Claire Nocturne is the one I use the most. And they just stack one on top of the other. And then all of my Tim Holtz Distress Oxides. And more stamps, so my favorite things, Lawn Fawn. Um, the way that I do my stamps is like most of you, I've got my pouch with uh, the title, so Lawn Fawn Keep On Swimming, in the, and it says Reveal Wheel Add-On. And then in the back on the um, magnet sheets, of course this one, of course the one I pull out, all the stuff has fallen off the magnets, but normally it sticks on to the magnet sheets. Um, down there, these are all of my tall, my tall, my favorite things. Then the bottom, this is, these have been new, moved, so these are the big um, Stampin' Up! thinlets, so they don't fit in my other stores, so I got a, a new way of storing them there here. Then right beside are my beautiful Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous um, stamp sets. That, this is the one I've used recently. Um, I love, I love them, love them, love them. And then these are my Tim Holtz thinlets. And then in the back, I've got some of the bigger, my favorite things stamps back there. And then catalogs, um, old catalogs and magazines are there. So if we come right back, and there's my daycare. So if we come right back to where I normally sit, and I'm just going to stand here and do a 360, you'll get to see kind of what my space looks like turning to the right. There's the door into my house. And then we come all the way around. There you can see more of my daycare. And back to where we started. And so that is my crafting space. Thanks for taking a tour with me. Um, and enjoy.